You was all hoping that one day he would come back to United and that's obviously not happened. And I understand that a lot of you today will be, uh, will be, will be very upset, maybe frustrated at your football club. Hello? Yo, Joe, where are ya? It's Monday morning, Premier League piss take, and you're not here to film the greatest show on planet Earth. No, I thought that I'm not coming in. We can't do a piss take if Ronaldo's time for sitting there. We're a laughing stock. What do you... What do you mean? Haven't you seen the news, bruv? He's come home! What? He's fucking come home! I'll be right there. The fuck is this guy? So What a week it has been, my brother Joe. Yeah. You have been in the woods I've somewhere, been in hiding, hiding, I've been in hiding around. I told you not to go in. I there, heard that I? City were signing Ronaldo. I left town. I wasn't on the watch along. I've been in the woods. Did you watch transfer today. review? Is that what happened? I did. You saw me give it the zero out of ten on transfer review, and thought I'm out of here. I heard it wasn't happening, so I, uh, you know, went and went to my quiet place. I'm sorry. That's that's my fault. I'm to blame. Yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo is home. I can't believe it. Um, it was all fake news. He never really wanted to go to City. Sure. He ate them, mate. Yeah. He absolutely ate them. In fact, mm. what him and Jorge Mendes did was they went, you want to go back to United? Mm. And Ronnie went, I only want to go back to United. Mm. And then the guy went, but when we asked him earlier in right. the season, okay. they said they're getting Sancho. Yeah. Right, how do we get to United? He said, do you remember Sanchez? Do you mm. remember Sanchez? Oh, yeah. Do you remember Fred? Oh, yeah. Well, if you pretend City won them, mm. they're all over you like a rash, mate. Mm. Happened. Pretended. So he didn't really want to go to City. So they pretended that City, yeah, he, didn't really he wanted to go to City, City just so that United would buy him. Yeah, he didn't want to go to <sighs> Thank City. Thank God for that, because I've had a horrible weekend in the woods, whittling away at my own, you know, Dinkleberries. chair leg, trying to get it down into a tiny stump. Sticking did, that in a, a did you owl's nest. What? Did you do it? Managed to, yeah. Yeah. Got a little tawny owl nipping at my nuts at the end of the weekend. And I have to come back to this. But, you know, you're gonna have to give me the results because I ain't seen anything. Viva Ronaldo. I've been I've been off the grid, mate. Shall I tell you what? Talk should to we, me about some should football. we go watch matches today and come back? Alright, go on then. Yeah, come on. So first up, Joe. Your your favourite team. Mm. They lost again, the didn't they? Well, this is a double-edged sword, isn't it? A double-edged sausage, this one, because yes, Arsenal have lost five nil. But that means City have won 5-0. Do you know what I mean? But Arsenal have lost the first three games of the league. They've got minus nine goal difference. They're bottom of the league after three games. This is really, really bad for Arsenal, isn't it? Mm. Really bad. Mm. What are your thoughts? I felt sorry for them. Yeah. I felt sorry for them. There were reports oh dear. of their fans celebrating City's fourth goal. It's only 4-0. It's only 4-0. Unconfirmed, yeah. but there were reports of that, yeah. um, which I thought was quite hilarious. Do you would, think, you, would you ever celebrate that's, Well, that's what relegation scoring? teams do though, isn't it? That's mm. what teams who are getting relegated do when they're 7-0 down. The only time I've celebrated a goal against United was Van Persie. Yeah. Because well, I really wanted him to score. And we were already through and fine. Yeah. So City won 5-0 against the worst team in the league, which normally we wouldn't cover on here because who cares if They've City beat the worst team like in the league. Loonies. But the worst team in the league are Mikel Arteta's Arsenal. Yeah. So do you know what I'm thinking? Without further ado, let's get into the Arsenal report. Right, yeah, let's look at some stats, Joe. Stats, start with stats. Some stats. Statistics. Arsenal I have report. got them for you Arsenal right report. here. Shots, 25 to 1. That's City to Arsenal. Jesus, I thought that was the odds of Arsenal having one. Mm. 25 to 1. And Arteta, you know, he's, you can see what he's trying to do there at Arsenal, you know. Mm. Like, the, the, the people still say that. People say that they're defensively sound. They conceded 25 shots against Man City. <laughs> Just def shit at attacking Wait, doesn't mean defensively boss? sound. What? They conceded 25 shots. Mm. They only conceded one in five, Joe. Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. 20% of the shots went in. Hear it like that. That's not so bad, is it? Yeah. 10 shots on target to nil for Arsenal as well. Not one shot on target. This is 
not just a bad team, not just a, oh, we used to be Champions League, we're not anymore. This is one of the worst performances you can put in in the Premier League. And they had. So remember when we said 20% of City's shots mm. went in? Yeah. Arsenal had 19% possession. So, so they had lower, lower than City's shot conversion was Arsenal's possession. 19%? Honestly, and I'm not just saying this, <laughs> I reckon if they just had loads of egg cups, do you know like beer pong? If City would like they would have held better, better possession, just just a cup with a ball in it that City could just grab and kick. That is the that is not even human beings playing football. Nineteen percent. No, That's no, no, amateur. No. Nineteen. That's amateurish. It is. I, I reckon me and you against City on our own yeah. keep better possession. Yeah. Because yeah. we bring back just the Just me and you rule. go one, two, one, two. Oh yeah, I'm back. And I do that. I just do a little feint, go to the other side yeah. of him, receive it. You do yeah. a little feint, and receive I, it. Not Meg Sterling. Yeah. Get past him. Mm -hmm. Run at Fernandinho. Mm -hmm. Dodge I, that. One, two. I think we get a goal. Yeah. In, goal. in 90 Ish. minutes. How long yeah. does it take to score a goal? What's the famous saying? How long does it take? Second. Second. How many takes? Do you know what I mean? 90 seconds. times 60. Madonna did a song about it, didn't she? 60 seconds. Yeah. So, do you know what I mean? There's plenty of time to score a goal. 19% possession. Dreaders. Absolutely yeah. dreaders, mate. Oh, shit, mate. Something's going round, you know. Something's going round. Have you heard about this? What's happened? So, this weekend, and I, I feel sorry for them, mm. because we know the world's a dangerous place to be living in. Mm. Viruses are all over the place. What are they called? Gangs. Gangs everywhere. Mm. Um, sh strains? Are they called strains? Str different strains, yeah. Different strains. Mm. Strange strains mm. of COVID. And there's a strange strain going around Emirates. For What's that every that? single week, a player is forced to withdraw from the game through illness. Mm. Yeah. This week it was Pepe. <gasps> the other week it was Ben White, brand new fifty million mm. pound signing. Then Lacazette. The week before that, Lacazette and, and <gasps> What's happening to him? They're right. Wildfire. I think I think we just need to mm. you know get it sorted out mm. at Arsenal. Very upsetting, isn't it, this mm. illness thing? Because mm. you know, we've all been hit hard, but no one quite like Arsenal who've got what, two hundred million quid worth of players who can't be asked to play for him. Not good, is it that? Maybe Arteta's the virus. Maybe. Oh, I like that. I like that. You know what? You've slagged off Arteta a lot today. I'm, so, I'm you've sorry. You've slagged him off. I'm sorry. And I'm worried that without him, we don't have a show. We don't, no, no, don't be worried about it. It's fact. Right. So if he does get sacked, this is over. Okay. And I like this. I like this. So what we need to do is get some positive PR for Mikel Arteta out there. Go. What? So what's, what is it? Say some nice things about him. Arsenal are still yet to score a single goal in the Premier League this season. That's not nice, is it? Say nice. something nice about him, like his tactics. No, but that how... is nice about him because what? it's not his fault. No, it's the players. Yeah. Right. So his tactics, you know, what he brings to the team, what his Hair? vision. No, not his, no, not 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 physical things. What is what is he good at as a coach? Spanish. We'll take that. Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. Spanish. And I know I said not the hair, but. He's got lovely hair. Yeah, he's got lovely hair. So don't Not sack one grey. I mean, Not one grey. I found about 20 greys in yeah. this. You can't sack him because he's got such lovely hair. He no. likes wearing a suit, doesn't he's he? He's young. And he's kept his waistline very slim. He's still young. Still young and sexy. Yeah, he's young he's and he's sexy, young and sexy, isn't he? He's and you know what? Sexy. He's one of those managers that you could imagine that when the ball goes up and it's coming down for a throw in, he just goes <laughs> and he just brings it down. And that is, that's really all there that's is to be a manager. Because retired last week. Yeah, that's all there is to being a manager. Yeah, he could still control the ball from a great height. You can't sack a manager with all those things. Can he, you know, is, is, he, a, is he a good tactician? And yeah. one other good thing about him is, what? he's Arsenal manager. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, that's impressive. That's impressive. That's really impressive. You, you know, For a man with that CV. What, he hasn't got a CV. Exactly. Yeah. To get that job. He's one of those people that never wrote a CV out. He just sort of knew people that got him the job. That's mad, actually. He might not have a CV. Do you reckon he has? You reckon it's on Indeed.com? I reckon it's on Indeed.com and you're like, fucking hell, I haven't updated this in a while. Place for Everton, it says. <laughs> Everton! That's he keeps been a while. getting calls from call yeah. centres. No, no. You, you want to start a job tomorrow? No, I've got like... one. I got one through a mate. I got one through a mate and then I got one through a different mate. He's done well, bless He's him. on a six year contract. Yeah. His best mates with Pepe. That's <laughs> what. Oh, no. That's what. He's struggling. They're struggling. <laughs> Bottom of the league after three games. Boss. Play three, one, Boss. none. Shall I tell you a little? Go on. Their, their, their neighbours mm. are top of the league. Isn't that something for them to be happy about? Spurs, yeah. Locals. Locals. Like if, you, if you're, you know, your next door neighbour is having a good time, you'd be like, oh, that's nice. Like if you, if you, you were having a board day at home, yeah. but your next door neighbours were having a party. It's all right, yeah. isn't it? Can yeah. I come up? Fuck oh. off. Fuck off, dickhead. Is that, that's what, is that what your neighbours said? No, 
Some neighbours might say that. Oh. Fuck off, dickhead, with your long hair. Hippie-looking look, hippie bitch. Some neighbours might say, and that would be really upsetting for that person. Right, yeah. It's me! Here's a cheeky little stat. Is it cheeky? How it's, cheeky? It's fucking well cheeky, mate. Rafael Varane has got more assists this season than Arsenal have got this season. As a club. He's played one game and he's a centre-back and he's got more assists than Arsenal. Though, Sensational, it's isn't it? Fucking good we'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> Arsenal are even below Norwich in the table. And Norwich are just 20th by default. And Arsenal are still below him. Even their players want to leave. That's a hostage situation, that. Interesting, isn't it? That's not... He doesn't... Bro... Blink twice I, if you I want need to, to I need to phone the police. Don't ring the police. Don't ring the police. No, they need to be informed. You've already been told crime. that. You know, it's a crime. You keep ringing the police when things aren't crime. Hello? Can nope. you put me through to the No, nope. hang up. Do you when you rang them because you couldn't find the humbugs in your glove box? Yeah, but someone stole them. Do you when you rang them because you, you didn't put enough hair gel in your hair? Someone stole it, bro. Yeah. Do you when you did put too much in your hair gel in your hair and you rang the police? I stole too You've much You've got in to it. stop rigging the police every two They're seconds. They're there to protect them, sir. You spilled your coffee and you rang the police. And Serve you, me. And you blamed yourself. You protect said, me. I've spilled my coffee. Arrest me. They're there to protect and serve. Adam. Not stop and search little kids in the street. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We might genuinely be seeing the end of Mikel Arteta. No. How do you feel? No. It's coming to an end. It this can't, can't last. Bro, this show's finished if it's finished. It's not. We'll find something else. How do we keep him in a job? Petition. Petition. Can we set up a petition? I'm yeah. going to set up a petition. Set up the Put petition. the link on the screen. Link on the screen right now. Arsenal to keep Mikel Arteta. We see the vision. We see what he's doing. He's got lovely hair. You cannot sack this man because it's too fun for the Save rest of us. Save our show. Save our show. We need Mikel Arteta. Premier League piss take is nothing without him. Yeah. We need him. There you go. We'll set that up. That's going to be on the screen. Human link rights. in the description. If we can get that to... 200 signs, he'll stay. Yeah, he'll stay, he'll stay. 200. Come on, lads, get signing. Next up for Arteta, then, it is the big bottom of the table clash against Norwich. Two relegation candidates duking it out. You know what? If this is the end of Arteta, I think there's only one man that can save them. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, Bruce! Yes, Steve! Look at him! How's the cutout, did you say? Look at this. It's full size. It's life size. Is that in his whole days? Is that his Newcastle days? Look at the fist on that. It's twice the size of an average human. Is fist. this a real Brucey size? This is real Brucey size. Six foot one. This is what you call a Brucey bonus, isn't it? This is a Brucey Look, bonus. Look, if we put our heads here, it's like we're hugging him. He's been hugging us. Hey, Bruce. <laughs> Steve Bruce has got to go to the Emirates, honey. Look at the job he'd do. Oh, he really fills out a suit man. and he fills out a studio as well. He's perfect for us. He's brilliant. He's our new little mascot here. Thank you to Twitter Paddock. UK for that, by the Thank way. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> How's the bacon, did you say? Well, Newcastle 2, Southampton 2. Let's get into it with Steve right here. Bonus points for Brucey! The great thing with Steve is, he might be available pretty soon because he might get sacked from Newcastle. Why? They were 1-0, 1-1. Then they go 2-1 up in the 90th minute. <laughs> and then in the 96th minute, was they it? give away a penalty. It wasn't. It's a draw. It wasn't a penalty. I can't remember what happened, but it wasn't a penalty. Felt like it might have been. But it doesn't matter because he's here now. Look at this. I How think, beautiful is this? I think, I think a point a game's good for Steve Bruce. Yeah. Keeps him up, mm. doesn't it? Just about. 38 maybe. points, maybe a bit more than that. Maybe. Yeah, but well, Arteta's got zero points. That's true, that's true. So, um, you know. A point a day keeps fun. the Brucey away. No, keeps Ashley away. That's the truth, Mike Ashley. Fantastic. There are lots of anti Bruce chants from the game. Mm. Not good, I, I I assume they're from Southampton fans that are just jealous, mate. Jealous. Just jealous. Yeah, because you've got your Ralph. You want the beef. Yeah, you don't Beefy want... Bruce. Beefy Brewster. And Alan St. Maximin scored the goal that looked like it was going to be the winner. Then they draw. Then he goes on Twitter sending out apologies. What do you make of football players apologising for not winning games? Don't apologise. Me neither. No, unless, unless you've done something like punch someone in the face, got sent off. Yeah. Or... Shit yourself. Yeah, if you do the like shit Gary yourself. Linker. Yeah, yeah, apologise right. for that. I understand. But yeah. if you've just lost a game, especially with a decision like that, mm. and especially when you got this man in the dugout, you don't need to apologise, bro. Mm. We get it. And you also, he won. just scored in the 90th minute what was winner, or seemed mm. like winner. He ain't done anything wrong. Don't blame yourself, mate. Don't blame mm. yourself. Mm. Don't apologise for losing either. He didn't even lose. He drew. Yeah, one point, well game. I can't believe we've got this, you know. I, I, this I, has I, changed it's, everything, it's, hasn't it? It's... it's you, oh, Look at the dream come true. The sheer fist of it is what I like. Do you reckon that would? I think you could take that. Yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> let's move on then. Liverpool uh, won, Chelsea won. Honestly, 
what a perfect result for United that was. Both, both teams dropping points. You don't want either of them to win. Four points dropped in total, which is more than any of the teams if either of them had won. Perfect result for Manchester United. I enjoyed that, especially after the draw with Southampton last yeah. week. Beating Wolves this week, you know, it levels everything out. Mm. Liverpool, Chelsea, United on seven points each. Mm -hmm. What's three sevens? 21. Yes, thank you very much. Cristiano Ronaldo, who's number seven, is coming in soon. Um, and this is the second time he's played for us. Yep. But if it was the third time, it would be seven times three, 21. Yeah. yeah. Do you know something? You've genuinely got better at maths since this whole 21 is coming thing. Yeah, I That's mean... Mad. They're like the darts announcers when they can add up really quick. Yeah, yeah, You've yeah. got to that. You know every divisor, adding addition. You know every multiple of 21. A little bit of my beard in my mouth. Incredible. But it's, it's really well Hopefully done. Hopefully we're me. a pube, Brucey. Um, <laughs> Liverpool couldn't even beat a 10-man Chelsea. What do you make of that? What do you make of that? Is that good by Chelsea? Is it bad by Liverpool? Is it a bit of both? I think Chelsea are title favourites. Yeah. Yeah, really do. I really do. Um, just, just look at Tuchel, how he closed that game off. I never mm. had any doubt that they'd get a draw in that game. Mm. Um, I think they're favourites for the title. Do you think even over City? City? Yeah. City just like every single City year, ain't. they're the ones to beat City, them. City ain't favourites. City ain't favourites. City ain't favourites. Chelsea are favourites. And uh, we're winning it. Interesting. So interesting. It's, it is interesting, but yeah, um, it was a good good result for United there. Mm. Um, found interesting was mm. Lukaku. Mm. They often, one of the criticisms was, mm. I like Lukaku, by the way. One of the criticisms was, doesn't do it in the big games. Another game where he didn't score. Didn't really turn up, did he? Mm. Pushed Van Dijk about a little bit, but... Never Van Dijk really. also pushed him about a little yeah. bit as well. You know it was mean? quite an even battle. It was. You know, that's Lukaku's thing, isn't it? He doesn't tend to get a lot of goals in big games. He never has. Maybe he'll start now, but... Put it on the list. You see that German fella losing the plot? Huh? Plot. No. What's he see said? what he said? He goes, even with 10 men, Chelsea had the advantage. Does Do he know, just think his team's shit? Do you know who says that sort of thing? David Moyes at Manchester United. That's the sort of thing he'd say, isn't it? You know what? We did really well not to lose against them 10 men because they still have the advantage over us. That is mad. We're going to try really hard to beat Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, Remember exactly. That? Yeah, oh ridiculous. God. But they're a good team, so, you know, don't count your chickens till they've hatched. And he is ready to hatch, isn't he? Look at that. Don't, if you tap the side of his head don't. with a spoon, it cracks open. That don't, is true. Don't, don't. There's no need for that. Tottenham won. Watford nil. Tottenham are the only team to have won their first three games of the season. That's rare. Usually there's multiple teams winning three, four, five games. Tottenham's are the only one on nine points. They're looking really good, really strong. They're top of the league. Can Harry Kane finally win a title? I'm so fucking stupid. That's a no then, is it? So, there we have it for another week of The Greatest Show on Planet Earth. Mm. P.L. Piss Tape from Joe, Thank from Steve, Steve, from myself. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, like and comment and sharing all that jazz. One last thing we got to say. Viva Ronaldo! Viva Ronaldo! Running down the wing, in the United sing. Viva Ronaldo! <laughs> yes, Brucey. So <laughs> yeah. Billy Pistick is back, bitch! Viva Ronaldo! Viva Ronaldo! Viva Ronaldo! Could we do that maybe outside so that it's not being picked up on the mics so clearly? What is that? It's them unboxing the Steve Bruce. Here's a cheeky stat. What? <laughs> Next That's like one. when Rita Aurora went a thousand likes and I'll release my tune. And mm. then she went, oh, someone... Hacked me. Someone hacked me, and the fact that it only got 178 <laughs> likes is nothing to do with it. It's my tune. Why does this fist smell like shit? <laughs> it's redder than I thought as a piece. Do you know it's just like an art piece? There's a lot more of like red ink has been used to print this than I thought there would have been. Yeah. Very red. Oh, Viva Ronaldo! Running down the wing, in the United States, Viva Ronaldo!